Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? I know y'all have had some bad weather. That Helene, oh my gosh, she really did a number on many states. And I'm just praying for all the people that were affected by this hurricane. There's so much uh, water. There's you know so much flooding going on. And I just want y'all to know there's more storms coming. And if if you are in the path of a hurricane, get out of the path because we're, we're experiencing some phenomenal weather. It's crazy. I mean, it was a category four. Yes, we know that, but uh, people were unprepared. They really were. And unfortunately, when you're unprepared, you know, terrible things happen. And we don't want any more lives to be lost. We don't want any more families to be devastated. So there are more hurricanes coming. So please, please listen to your weather advisory. If there is a hurricane coming towards your area, even close to your area, leave, get out of there. Just go and get out of there. It's not worth it. It really is not worth it. God bless all the people that have been affected by this storm. I just pray for all of them. I know they're going through a terrible time. There's lots of people without electricity. I'll tell you, today in, in my neck of the woods, it's 94 degrees. If I didn't have electricity, it'd be really bad, really, really bad. Uh, it is starting to cool off, though. It's um, getting down in the you know low 60s and sometimes 58, 59 at night. But it heats back up during the day. It gets really hot. So, yeah. God bless each and every one of them. God bless them and their families. So, y'all be prepared. Be prepared. So, I'm going to talk about the election. I haven't talked about it in a while. And I have my Kamala t-shirt on. Look. I'm going to wear this to the gym today. So, after I do this reading, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, go to the gym and work out with my Kamala t-shirt and we're going to see what happens. I haven't worn it out in public yet. I've had it for probably a couple weeks, but I haven't worn it out in public. But I told my husband, I said, I'm going to wear my t-shirt today and see what happens. Because, you know, people in Texas, of course, there's still a bunch of people that are for Trump, but they are changing their minds. They are reevaluating things. Um, I do still think, I still feel I'm getting a yes on Kamala Harris being elected. So I still feel like, so I'm going to this call this reading of the energy of today, the election energy of today, and it's Monday, September 30th, 2024. So for that energy today, I'm going to say yes, Kamala is going to be elected. Is there going to be a blue wave? Well, I, I feel like that is still debatable because we're, we're talking about free will. And there's still, believe it or not, there's still a lot of people that haven't made up their mind what they're, what they're going to do if they're even going to vote. There's some people that don't even want, they're like turned off, they don't want to get involved, and they really need to participate. But, um, and then there's others still weighing their options, which I can't understand that at all because it's like, you want to go with uh, Satan? <laughs> I don't even believe in Satan, but you know what I mean. Do you want to go with this person that is so destructive or you want to go with Kamala? It's, to me, it's a simple, easy choice. But there, there's many people that are still, you know, undecided. So is there a blue way? I'm... I am leaning towards a yes on that, so it may not be as huge of a blue wave as we'd hoped for, but I think it's going to be blue enough, blue enough. And for Texas turning blue, I am picking up that Texas is going through a transformational period. So there is tremendous growth going on, but there's still a, still a lot of work that is needed, right? Because, you know, people, people are, you know, they, they dig into their opinions and their decisions, and it's hard to get them out of it. So there's still a lot of work to be done. And um, it, it is bluer than it's ever been. 
but as far as it changing blue, I, uh, I don't, I, like I said, it may, it may uh, in the next election cycle, but maybe not on this one. Will Ted Cruz be reelected? Will Colin Allred be elected? So this is really weird because I get a yes on both of them. So I feel like this is super, super close. It's super close because I'm getting a yes on both. Um, because the people, they know Ted Cruz, he's recognizable and everything. And I don't know why, if you would recognize him, why you would vote for him, because, you know, he's another disaster, in my opinion. I live here in Texas. But people, um, they vote with who they're familiar with, and they go down the ticket, and they're like, oh, Ted Cruz, yeah, we're going to vote for him again. Uh so, um, but there are other people that they want change. So that's the question here. Uh, do people want change or they just want familiarity? You know, and it's, it's going to be super, super close, super close, you guys. Um, will the Democrats hold the majority in the Senate? I'm getting a yes on that. Yes, they will. Will the Democrats hold a majority in the House? Yes. So that's good. To me, that's a that's a blue enough wave. You know, that's blue enough for me. As long as we get, you know, Democrats have the majority in the House and the Senate, we can get some things done. So in that case, will abortion rights be restored? And I'm getting a yes, they will be. Yes. So will this be a peaceful transition of power? Is this going to be a peaceful transition of power? I don't think it's going to be that peaceful, unfortunately. So there's going to be a lot of people that still are going to think what you know, Trump has put into their brain, that this election is stolen. And the election results will be challenged. There will be lawsuits. Um, some people just won't accept the outcome of the election. My dog was barking. I had to pause it for a minute. He was outside, had to let him in. He's like, it's hot out here, Mama. I need in. It's too hot, 94 degrees, too hot even for the dog to be outside for sure. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. We can look forward to, you know, because of Trump, you know, of a lot of uh, restlessness. And I don't feel like there's going to be interference. You know, it's, it's going to happen. She's still going to be elected, but they're, they're going to uh, do everything they can to make it as difficult as possible. And the transition of power is going to happen, of course, you know, Biden is going to have a peaceful transfer of power to Kamala Harris, but there's going to be others that are going to try to stir things up and uh, cause a lot of problems, unfortunately. But the good news is we've been through this before and we know how to handle it. So they can handle all the lawsuits. They can handle, you know, people being restless and uh, they'll be completely ready for whatever is coming their way. So, you know, unfortunately, people will act stupid, will do dumb things, but, and it's not going to stop the results of the election. That's for sure. Just like it didn't the last time, it won't this time either. But thank goodness, the good news is we won't have to hear from Trump anymore after this election, you know, and I thought that, I actually thought that the last election, I was like, ah, oh, thank God. And then here he's back. He just doesn't stop. But nobody's going to listen to him anymore, I am sure, after the Republicans lose the House and they lose all these seats, they're going to rethink their strategy and put in all their eggs in Trump's basket. So it's a lesson for them to go through and to learn. 
with all this turmoil that's going on in the universe, you know, uh, wars taking place in Israel and the Middle East and all, even, you know, Republicans and Democrats being at each other's throat all the time and sparring with each other and, you know, it's pulled families apart. It's just been really terrible. That's why we're seeing this uprising of weather. It's trying to get our attention. All this energy is in the universe and we're just going to see hurricane after hurricane after hurricane. We don't want that. We want peaceful weather, peacefulness. When we become more peaceful and we're putting out a, a, a peaceful signal to the universe, then uh, our good weather will be restored. It really will. Everything will calm down. All things will calm down. The earth is really trying to get our attention and to say, hey, this is not who you are. You know, this isn't who you are. You're not that person. You are a, a beautiful, loving, kind, compassionate spirit. So it urges us all to get in touch with ourselves. So do some meditation, listen to some music, uh, be kind to your loved ones, to your neighbors, reach out to them, even if they're Republicans. <laughs> It's, it's going to be okay. It really is. Um, yeah, everybody has to go through learning curves in their life. And so we're all going through this learning curve. We learned that, um, you know what? Politics should not displace members of a family. We shouldn't let that happen. That is for sure. You know, I just, I just hope that we've all learned a lesson with this. And we used to all be civil and have disagreements and you're, you're voting Republican, you're voting Democrat and all, but it got to a point where we feel like, uh, that somebody's attacking us or hurting us, right. Or hurting our family member, or how could you, you know, how could you vote for somebody like Trump? How could you, we can't fathom it. We can't understand it. We don't, know why that is, but there is some factor there. We don't have to understand it. We just have to say, your opinion is different from mine, but I still love you. It's okay. I still love you, right? All my family, they're all Republicans and I love them just the same as I always have, no matter what. I always love them. Um, I don't, you know, talk politics with them at all. When they want to talk politics, I just, I don't do it. I used to do it. Um, you know, I used to fight all the time, but I just got tired of it because there's no point in trying to change somebody else's mind. So they're going to have to go through this transformation. This, the earth, the universe, this country is going through a transformation. And as they go through this transformation, they're going to see things differently. So things will change for them. And I hope that they'll be happy with the transition of power to Kamala Harris. In the long run, I think the country will be more secure and be happy. We just have to get through this. I can't wait till this election is over. I want it to be over and done with. My husband says the same thing. I can't wait till this election is over. I just, and I said, well, it, it, he said that this morning as soon as we woke up. I don't know why he said that right away. He's just like, I, I want this election to be over. And I said, well, it will be. Look, at, look, September went just like that. So tomorrow is October 1st. It'll go real quick, too. And then we'll be in November. We'll be at the election. So it'll go by real quick. You know, oh, Tim Walls and... Uh, J.D. Vance uh, debate is tomorrow. Woohoo! Are y'all going to be interested in watching that? <laughs> it's like uh, a theater. It's theater, you know. It's it's like uh, an event, you know, that we, we want to go watch it. And I don't know why that is so important. It doesn't feel like it's that important, you know. Um, and then I've, I saw on one of the news channels that uh, Waltz is nervous. Or maybe I read it somewhere that he's 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 got nerves playing up, and uh, I mean everybody would be nervous. I'm sure J.D. Vance is nervous too. They're not saying he's nervous, but I'm sure he's nervous too. 
you know, uh, I'd be nervous if I was debating J.D. Vance because you never know what lie is going to come out of his mouth, you know, and that's nerve wracking because he can, he'll say all kinds of things. He's the one that started that lie about Haitians eating people's pets. He started that lie. He did it. So, you know, knowing that, It'd make you nervous debating him because he might say all he might say all kinds of things. One thing is for sure, he will act like an arrogant smartass. <laughs> oh, did y'all see Saturday Night Live? That guy that played uh, Waltz on there, he did good. He really, really did good. He got him down so good. I, that was such a good little skit they did of all the people, uh, Kamala Harris and. Waltz and the guy that does Trump, he's perfect. Oh, and then, and Biden. I barely recognize Dana Garvey. I mean, barely. It's so funny. Um, but they made him really look like President Biden. I don't know what he looks like now, but they, you know, they fix him up really good. And he was funny. He was really funny. Uh, he sounded like him a lot. I mean, they, you know, they do, uh, they overdo it. They overdo the characters, of course, but he got them down pretty good, you know, pretty good. And uh, it, it was just made to be funny. It was funny. It was great. It was, it was really, really good. So that was fun to watch that. My husband didn't watch it. Uh, I always record it, and then he fell asleep, and I watched it probably at midnight or, or a little bit later. So, But it was good. It was really good. And we're going to see more of those kind of things. So. <laughs> So I have been working and I appreciate everybody that has asked me to do readings and healing sessions. Those are going good. I really appreciate everybody that stepped up and asked uh, for my services because as you know, I need a little distraction. Uh, we still don't have definite uh, funeral arrangement plans for my brother. Uh, his ashes haven't been returned to us yet. But I think they're coming back this week, and um, it's there's a good chance it might be this weekend. So uh, talking to the pastor and getting things all together, I think tomorrow. Tomorrow they're 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 talking to the pastor to see if we can get things all together by this weekend. So yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, I, I really feel for his children because they're they're young adults and you know they haven't married they haven't had children or anything and now they don't have their parents to be with them on all the milestones of life but God bless them they have family that surrounds them and that loves them and prayers from you guys thank you so much I appreciate it all the condolences all the prayers and everything I received from you guys it meant so much it lifted me up it really did and it'll lift all my family members up and the, his children too. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. But again, if you would like a healing session, a reading, you need some chakra balancing done or some energy work done, please I'll leave my email down below. Contact me and we'll set something up. All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, weekday. It's, the weekend's over. Have a wonderful week. It's, uh, you know... It's going to be a crazy week, that's for sure. <laughs> but have fun watching the debate tomorrow. Love you guys. Take care. Bye for now. Do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Almost forgot that.